Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Sandy Labs and in this tutorial we'll be looking at making a custom table side swift. I've already set up a basic table view as follows. If you want to do this, I'll place a link in the description below to a tutorial on how to create this. So in this tutorial, basically with the data, I've just set it up as car manufacturer names as follows here. And first of all, to create our custom table cell, so what we need to do, we need to go to File, then New, File. Then we go to User Interface and select Empty. Go Next. And we're just going to name this View Table Cell. Now this will give us an interface here to actually build our table cell. So in the right corner we need to drag the table view cell into our interface builder. And now what we want to do is we want to drag a label onto here. And that will be the car manufacturer name. And then we want to find a UI image and we'll drag that onto there. And this is going to show us a car manufacturer logo. Okay, so in this view, what you need to do is you need to select the table view cell up here. And in this right hand side, under the attribute inspector here, under the identifier, we just need to type in cell. And now that we've done this, we need to set up an accompanying class for our table view cell. So we go back to file, go to new. And file, select source, Cocoa Touch class, and we'll name this table cell. And this needs to be a subclass of UI table view cell. Let's go next and create. Now that we've made this, we just need to go back to our view table cell. And under the cell here, go to the custom class area. And we just need to select our table cell in here to tie that back to our table cell here. So now that we've done that, we just go up to here, create a split view. So this is Got our custom interface builder here on the left. On the right, we've got that custom table cell class we just made. So from the image view, we just hold control, drag a line into it to here, and this will create an outlet as follows. So we're just saying that image car name. And then in the label, we just drag that out and do the label car name. So that's basically connecting our interface up to our custom class. Now it is important to make sure that your view and your custom class isn't the same name because if you have exactly the same name it might work but it can cause a lot of troubles and I've spent hours trying to debug problems that are really strange because I've made this mistake. Now that we've done that, we're going to go to our image assets and I've loaded in a few images here already. But what we want to do, we just want to load in our images for our car logos. So I'll just load in one for the Mitsubishi logo as follows. So we've got that all there to load up in our table view. So now that we've got our custom cell set up, we need to go back to our view controller and now set up a few things. In the view did load, to register the cell, we need to do something slightly different. So we just delete this line here, we've got, and we put this in here. So to register as a custom cell, it goes there nib equals UI nib, nib and name, which is our view table cell. That's the view over here. 
and then we go table view dot register near brackets near for cell reuse identifier cell. Okay, mm -hmm. and now what we need to do is we need to set up our cell for our index path to load our custom cell. So we'll delete this stuff here. Just set it up. We'll go there cell table cell equals equals self dot table view dot deck reusable cell with identifier. We'll do cell do as table cell. So the reason we're doing this table cell here is that's our custom class we've created up here to actually load our image and label information into that interface we made earlier. So to load the label and the image, what we do, we just go cell dot label carnan dot text equals table data brackets index path dot row. To load our image, we go cell dot image car name dot image equals UI image. And we do this name and we do table data index path dot row. This is because we've named our car images the exact same names as our Tata table strings. We just we can just use a same array in this. So if we go run up here, we should see our custom table cell load as follows. Now what you might want to do, the logos might appear a bit squished, so you might want to actually make their table cells a bit taller. So what you usually think to do to do this, you go back into the interface builder and drag this out. And if you do that and go run, you notice it doesn't actually resize it. So to resize it, what we need to do, we need to go back to our view controller. And there's another method in the table view to actually return the cell height. And so that is actually height for row at index path. So if we go back here, we'll go back to our table cell. We'll just adjust it a bit for the image to be a bit bigger. If you'll notice here, the height is 70 in our interface builder. So we go back to our view controller. And in this height for row at index path, we just go return 70. We go run now. We'll see that our table cell rows are actually taller. So that's basically how to create a custom table cell. You can create multiple labels, multiple images and everything else. All you need to do is you just need to modify this in the interface builder and make sure you connect it back up or to the table cell for any label, image or text box or button that you've actually added to it. So you can download the completed project below with the source code and remember to subscribe for more tutorials and comment for any suggestions.